I guess, Andrew, the concern when you look at central banks is that we've been talking about normalization for such a long time. Is the market really ready? You would hope so because it's been telegraphed so long, but how do you really know? Um, well, what you can look at, of course, is what's priced in, right? right. Um, so I, we don't think, particularly in the U.S., that the market has really discounted this. Um, still, despite the Fed, we think, giving relatively clear guidance that they're likely to move in December, we've only got about a 50% probability of the rate hike fully priced in. Uh, over but the why? Of next... This is what I can't well, figure I out. It's like the markets it's just don't believe the Fed? Right. No, they don't believe. They still can't. They want to see inflation. But it could be one of those situations where all of a sudden we get a couple of strong prints and, mm -hmm. and the market can reprice yeah. very quickly. So I think you're right that we've all looked and said, oh, yeah, the Fed will need to raise rates, and then we, we end up not doing yeah. that, partly because inflation has kept ratcheting down. So I think inflation holds the key, and if we see inflation rates move higher in the US, then I think there is a significant repricing that's going to take place. Are we right in focusing too, you know, so much on inflation? Does it really matter to the strength of the economy if it's 1.7 or 2%? You could, you could argue that actually because of Uber technologies and Facebook and everything is, you know, the sharing economy is pricing things down, which is why we're not seeing that 2 Inflation. Yeah, I, I think you do have to uh, differentiate between growth and what's going on yeah. there and the inflation market. But of course, the Fed's job is to ensure those inflation expectations don't get out of control. They've got to act early. So they want to balance that. Obviously, yeah. that's their, their job to have a, a balance mandate. They want to see that growth coming through. They need to put the brakes on, but they don't want to put the brakes on too right. quickly. Equally, they don't want to keep their foot off the brakes and find the cars accelerating too much. So they're, they're walking that balancing act. That's why I think you see a split vote in the FOMC, because it is hard to judge what is the, the balance to have between those two things. In our view, inflation is going to be picking up because of the tightness in the labour market. Yeah. Interestingly, I think from the Fed meeting this week, they didn't change their, their NIRU, right? So they still had it at 4.6. We're sitting at 4.3% unemployment, so it still tells you the labour market is really tight. Um, they did nat nudge down their long-term yeah. uh, uh, expectations around Fed rates, but only by 25 basis points. So I still think there's a degree of optimism on the FOMC that is not shared by the market.